Alpha 21 for 7 days saw the introduction of yet another character statistic. Once upon a time, it was just character level. Then there was game stage, then loot stage, and now we have trader stage. Each day is a blessing. This is a dynamic calculation that will determine the contents of a trader's inventory, and its implementation is meant to stop the massive progression leaps that were possible without it. For example, I conducted an experiment back in Alpha 20 where I started a playthrough and immediately started doing everything I could to make money, namely wrenching cars. Within 24 in-game hours, I had made enough to purchase a motorcycle from Trader Bob, but it just as easily could have been a top-tier SMG, steel club, or any number of other end-game items. But those days are over, so let's dig into how the new loot stage and bartering system works, and then I'll show you a tool that I made that can help you predict a trader's inventory. The calculation for trader stage is actually quite simple. It just factors in your level, the quest tier that you're on with that trader, and your daring adventurer level. And anytime that you check a trader's inventory, you'll see a mixture of items. Some will be hidden to you because your trader stage is either too low or too high to see them. But those hidden items might be visible to another player that has a different trader stage. Let's check out an example. For this experiment, I'll be bartering with trader Bob at quest tier one with zero points into daring adventurer. One character will be level one and the other will be level 100. And now let's look at the inventories to compare. Okay, so here's my level one character right here. Let's check Bobby's inventory. So one thing I wanna draw your attention to are the 32 electrical parts because we're gonna see the exact same number with the next player. And that's how we know that the inventory is shared between different players of different trader stages. The next thing is that he has a shovel. This is the only tool that he's carrying and he's also not carrying any vehicle parts, even though technically Bobby for, is the vehicle expert, but only if you have the appropriate trader stage. Now let's jump in with my level 100 character, same place, same time, and see what he has. Right off the bat here, you can see that he has vehicle accessories. He also does not have the shovel anymore, but he does have a steel pickaxe. And just so that you know that we're sharing the same inventory, there's your 32 electrical parts, along with a whole bunch of other items that weren't there before, like turrets and a solar bank. So all traders have a general inventory and a specialty inventory, and all traders specialize in certain things. I think now it's a good time to take a look at my spreadsheet tool. Here you can see each trader, their specialty items and how many of those special items they'll carry. It's not that these items are exclusive to these traders, it's just that they're gonna carry more of those items than the other traders would. And just below here, you can see what kind of magazines they specialize in. And again, they'll carry all types of magazines, but they're gonna have a few extra of their specialized type. And over here on the left is my trader stage visualizer, where you can see what items are trader stage dependent and when you'll start and stop seeing them in a trader's inventory. For example, you'll start seeing a mini bike at trader stage 50, and it'll drop off at trader stage 100. And you'll recall that we saw those four x four truck accessories with the level 100 character, and that's gonna be unlocked at trader stage 75. So let me show you how you can tie both of these tools so far together. Let's say you're looking for a cigar. Well, that's considered a tier two armor mod. So looking at the table, it looks like tier two mods are visible starting at trader stage 25. And if we check the trader specialties, it looks like trader Joel carries four to six extra armor mods. So bartering with Joel after trader stage 25 is our best chance to find the cigar. And since the trader stage calculation isn't exactly mental math, there's also a built-in calculator on this spreadsheet. There is a link in the description for you to view this spreadsheet on my Google Drive, but if you want to use the calculator, you'll need to download your own copy and edit the values from there. Just input your level, select what quest tier you're on, and note that there's also an option for having completed the tier six quests, which will give you the highest trader stage bonus. Then input your current level in Daring Adventurer. The calculator will then tell you your current trader stage, which you can then use to reference the trader stage visualizer and see what trader items you've unlocked. I think this is a really handy tool for determining if you've unlocked those special items you might be looking for, like vehicle parts, electronics, and rare tools. Next, I wanna draw your attention to the trader quest rewards table. With this, you can see your current Duke and XP rewards for each quest type and each quest tier. Here. As you can see, the highest reward is obtained in the Infested Clear Quests, with Restore Power and Fetch and Clear Quests close behind, and Clear Quests slightly behind those. The worst rewards are given for Buried Supplies and Fetch Quests. Also note that the game files designate rewards for Tier 6 Fetch, Fetch and Clear, and Clear Quests, even though those aren't currently in the game. Is this a hint for future tier six POIs? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that. I also included the quest reward selection for each quest type and tier. 
There's not much to go over here. Most quest rewards appear to be the same, except for the slight differences with the tier two infested clear quests and the buried supplies missions. And finally, this last little table here will show you the probability of getting certain tech tiers of items in your quest rewards. Tier one is iron age stuff, tier two is steel age, and tier three is advanced stuff like augers, desert vultures, and impact drivers, for example. This shows that in order to start seeing tech two items like a steel sledge or a pump shotgun, you'll need to be completing tier three or four quests. And to get tech three items, you'll need to be doing tier five or six quests. And again, they also include tier seven on this. So maybe that's a hint for some infested tier sixes coming in the future again. Not gonna speculate. Anyway, I think that just about does it for Trader Stage and Bartering. Stay tuned for more concise deep dives like this in the future, and I'll catch you hopefully in the next video. Take care, everyone. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.